We like to think we are not a regret restaurant. We aim to introduce you to Lao relatively unknown cuisine. Yeah. By explaining and demonstrating to the Lao culinary custom, continue further in the menu for frequently asked questions and information on the Lao cuisine and customs. My name is Joy Ngambupa and I'm the owner of the Tamarind restaurant and cooking school and we open for over 15 years with my wife, her name is Caroline. Most Lao people they think that tourists can't eat Lao food because it can be spicy, it can be this can be you know too strong flavor for them. So we decide to she rent the house to live in and we open the cafe downstairs to try to get the local food to like a market food to serve in the restaurant and also to explain Lao food to the tourists because lots of people they think Lao food and Thai they are the same but actually they are different and also when we serve we explain to the customer to what what the Lao food is what how to eat sticky rice and stuff like that. We have a lot of the, the, the customer complain that people who don't like spicy, strong flavor, but we keep the Lao food the way it is. We are we're not changing to the customer taste, but, but we try to do the best we can to, to, to suit up or to their taste. We want to, to serve Lao food and keep going because if you look at now, the, the, the Lao food has changed a lot in the last 10 years. We want to keep the Lao food the way it is as long as we can. So for the young generation to, to know the, the Lao food, so it doesn't disappear. At our cooking school, they like the most is the washikai, which is a stuffed chicken in salmon grass, and also fish in banana leaf. And also they like the sticky rice, how to cook sticky rice and with, uh, how to eat with jiao. Jiao, jiao is like a chili paste. So there's like a, a very typical of Lao meal, like every time we eat it, we always have with the jiao and the sticky rice. I don't know what they do in uh, author cooking school, but what we do different from the author is we teach love food and also we we are more hands-on. So the so lots of the cooking they go they chop things for you, make it nice for you, and for us we you do your own thing and also we cook with the charcoal, like a, the way a lot of people cook. When I first started like Lompobang Bio Bamboo, I didn't expect it that it's going to be a restaurant. It is now is a restaurant. In that time, it is, a, it is going to be a workshop. My name is Sing Tong. I started from uh, 4th September 2019. Uh, called Luang Puang Bio Bamboo. Especially I start to build like this house. Like early 2019, the idea is trying to show what can we do with bamboo. In my restaurant, I have everything it made of bamboo. That include bamboo straw, bamboo cup, bamboo spoon, bamboo fork, and a plate, uh, bamboo bottles, and ice bucket, also a chopstick made of bamboo, and I also made a bamboo cedars and bamboo house. Also, the the table is made of bamboo, bamboo chair, 
lampshade made of bamboo. Bamboo is one of the fattest plants ever grows in the world. A lot of people did not expect, they always think bamboo is kind of used for, it doesn't last very long because people are not understand. But actually bamboo, it, there are many different species of bamboo. All different species, it also has different colors, it has different flavor, different sizes too. And then, even Laos is very, very small country. It became number second next to China. We have about 150 species. And all the different species, it grows different part of the country. This house, it made, like I told you, is 99.5% is made of bamboo. Actually, this one, the engineer itself is my anchor, my wife, brothers. But my father, he's, uh, I would say he's in the countryside, he's kind of more or less like professional, but who live in the, in the village. And then he's a supervisor, how to cut, how to tie it together. And then my wife, brothers, like my anchor, they are very, very experienced about their engineering. This is our first bamboo house for them. Mostly they build concrete or timber, or mahogany, those kind of wood. But now, this is kind of first house we made of bamboo. I actually, last year I planted a bamboo about over 500 plants. And then this year, I planted 4,000 bamboo. But that is including about 15 different species. Hopefully it would help. I would say it's a very hard job for me because I have to do that everything by myself. Because I really want the people to come and learn. I even give them, I teach them to be a permanent job. They can make it, they can sell it to me or even sell it as a money income for their family. But it doesn't seem that many people are interested. So that's why I have to do it by myself. Very first plan, I'm very happy that I, I planted a lot of bamboo. And then it different to other investment. This is uh, my investment, it will last, I don't know how long, but it will be ready in five years. That is my goal. Like I told you, like the bamboo is one of the, the most sustainable in the world. If everyone can help me to do that, it can make this world even more beautiful than anything else. Well, I just want to just want Lao people or the restaurant to to serve the Lao food as as many as much as you can, not not just change into the the flavor to the what the customer like. So, okay, if more people more restaurant open the love food is better for people to know more about the, the love food.